Welcome to FX Street. Like what we're talking about, like what we're doing. You want to see the updates on a regular basis, head over to YouTube. Join our channel by hitting the subscribe button. And you can follow Akash and I individually on Twitter. You can follow Akash at Mangyeko0 and myself at JustAnalysis1. Taking a look at Ethereum now. Um, I wrote my article, one of them last week and then uh, yesterday, that Ethereum is... I mean, bearish on it in the short term because of this uh, GAN cycle known as his death cycle. So uh, it, it's a 49 to 52 day period or seven week cycle where anything that has been trending very strongly over seven weeks typically finds a very violent corrective move or broad trend change within that period. Um, and, and that is kind of what we're seeing play out here. We, we just ended seven consecutive weeks higher. This is actually a record for Ethereum. Ethereum has never had, uh, at least on my, my charts here, the longest that Ethereum has had of consecutive weekly closes where they're green or white, meaning closes are above the open. The longest streak of that has been five, and it has had uh, seven consecutive weeks like that. And uh, that's so that's a little bit of a... Uh, a cool thing that we've seen happen, but it's definitely resulting in some weakness developing here on the weekly chart. The composite index has, a, you know, kind of an ugly triangle pennant pattern where we're getting very close to testing the bottom of that trend line and a, and a breakdown below that uh, could see Ethereum have a pretty uh, deep move south. The, the, the ultimate support zone on the weekly chart for Ethereum is significant ways lower. It, I mean, we're talking a, how big of a drop would that be? Um, like a 50% drop. I'm not suggesting that that is happening, but uh, around that 24 to 2300 value area, you have the 2021 volume point of control. Week, weekly Senko Span B, which is the strongest area of support on, in the Ichimoku system, and the 382 fit retracement sit there too. But in the short term, the first target that uh, we're likely to see it get to to find a nice bounce on the weekly chart is at 3,800. The uh, Tenkin Sen is right in that zone. And, you know, that would fulfill the, the uh, return to equilibrium on this chart, just like we discussed on Bitcoin's video um, a recording that there are significant gaps that exist between the bodies of these weekly candlesticks and the tank and send. So a mean reversion to at least that level is expected. Below that, you get to the Kijin Sen at, at uh, the $3,300 level. You have another high volume on the volume profile there. And uh, then below that, it's, you know, into that twenty-three dollars to $2,400 range. Uh, but for right now, I expect it to head down to at least that $3,800 level. And... Uh, We'll see how it bounces there. It's going to watch that very closely because if that fails, then it's a pretty quick trip to 3,300. I'm not sure what you see, Akash. I'll pass it off to you. Yeah. Uh, just let, me, let me unmute. Yeah. So from a six hour time frame, uh, I see this is a clear break from this ascending uh, parallel channel that, that's uh, been on since 29 September to a 46 day uptrend, right? So uh, what I'm expecting uh, right now for Ethereum is kind of similar to what I'm expecting for Bitcoin, which is like a short-term relief bounce where it retests the 4387 resistance level here or uh, the 4500 level, uh, which depending on how it reacts over here, uh, again, since I'm bearish on Bitcoin on a longer term perspective, uh, I am expecting it to head down to the 4000 level here. Uh, while Ethereum might Kind of close above this level here i do expect to wick down to this level here which is uh, 3891 uh, which would also form a good triple tap setup here uh, for ethereum right so so we might get a dip below this uh, but th this is what i'm expecting right so we either uh, well let me just rephrase that right so we get a relief bounce uh the treatise uh the 4387 or the 4500 and then I'm expecting to retest the 4,000 psychological level here. Uh, and then uh, probably from a triple tap here uh, and consolidate here for a bit. Uh, but either way, right, I'm, I'm looking uh, at this particular level here, which ranges from 3,200 to 3,600. Uh, that's what I'm looking for Ethereum to reverse its downtrend. Uh, and interestingly, I think this also, this, this, this range here coincides with the 
70, 70.55 here. Let me just check. Yeah, so the 3300 coincides exactly with the, uh, the 70.55 uh, and where I'm, where I'm expecting Ethereum to reverse, right? So extremely short-term time frame, a bounce up to 45 or even uh, the 4400 level, and then kind of consolidate around the 4000 or the 3800 level. Uh, if we do lose uh, these levels here, uh, particularly the 4000 psychological level, uh, then I'm expecting to uh, find the support, uh, find some sort of foothold around 3,600 and 3,300. Uh, that's uh, my take on Ethereum. All right. Well, thank you, Akash, and thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.